Just incredible what she's been able to do, and they know this will be a very difficult road trip. Starting here in Salt Lake City on Sunday, they will be in Boulder for Colorado, and there's a little dump down, the back cut, lefty layup good, and it's jump with the first hoop. Yeah, it feels like jump gets a back door for two or uh, once or twice every ball game. Yeah, she's such an incredible three-point shooter, but she has just woven in so many other aspects. And speaking of three balls, there's one for Young. They average 12 per game, the Utes do. That is just like the most important, best start that Utah could have. A made three. Deja Young needs to get it going and keep it going. Very often muscles her way in. So many times already this year as well, but every team says we better score. If you don't score against Stanford, you're not going to have a chance. Yeah, absolutely. You can play a great defensive game, but you have to come down every time and hunt great shots and make shots on a consistent basis. Vieta hounding Lapolo full court. She makes her way across. Brink guarded by Jenna Johnson. So many options. Good versatility and depth for this Stanford team as there's Boscana. Heady play up at the top of the key. She has rebounded well. Her offense has been a little bit of a roller coaster, so a great start for Boscana, who has started every game this season. Yeah, did not start any games last season, but back at you with the three ball. Right wing for Peely Good. And she's got such a, a versatile game as draw on the charge. Jenna Johnson right off the bat. And Utah got the call, the play that they wanted. Let's get Cameron Brink on the bench. So important. And already Brink going to take a seat, Dimitrion. Jetta Johnson, just move your feet. Let Brink go through you. Get the call. Forearm by Brink was what cost her, I think. Dimitrion, she's guarding Deja Young. 6-3, they still have size, and there's Vieta, nobody stopped her. Very often, takes it out, Peely can't get it. It also is advantage Peely because now she's not guarding Brink. Jenna Johnson, you're not guarding Brink. Uh-oh, Peely! A lot of WNBA coaches in the house to watch the matchup between Brink and Peely. It's a Peely show so far. And an 8-0 Utah run, and that stops it there for Miri Offen. Peely's three that time, just off. It's over the 22-game home win streak going back to last season. Beautiful move from Miri Offen. Kiki Miri Offen, the junior from Los Angeles, averaging 23 minutes a game. This year averaging 16 points, 9 rebounds. Get the free throw. Very efficient coming off the bench. The freshman. <laughs> Reese Ross in for the Utes. 20 and white. Freshman from Rapid City, South Dakota. And a takeaway. And as you said it, new and bigger roles for so many other players. Reese Ross, the freshman. Sophomore transfer from Wisconsin. Here's Reese. High Arger off the iron. Won't drop. She's got to take it. And eventually they're going to start going down. A lot of confidence in that freshman. She comes in shooting 56% out there behind the arc. Impressive. Averaging seven points a game. Very often. Just really understands what her team needs. Rookie shot around and off the mark. But the weak side board from Ross keeps it alive. Johnson with the three ball. You know, it's interesting when you talk to these youths, they say, we do not get discouraged from misses. We're going to keep shooting no matter what. <laughs> Averaging 12 threes a game. They know what their bread and butter is. Jenna Johnson. Utah, four of nine behind the arc so far. Only one other shot made by them. Everything else has been on the perimeter as the drive from Harrow gets swatted. Transferred in this season. Nice addition for the Utes. Shot clock winding down. Bo's gone a high to low and good. Just scoring. They've been struggling. And several possessions down. Good hands from Bo's gone. We've seen her kick up her defensive effort the last couple of games now. Wilkie. Ryan Little. Hey, just punt for an open Ute. Sophomore's averaging five points a game, and here's Vieta with the D. She's 
so quick. There's no leg whip, there's no displacement, but uh, play on and Brink now on the bench. Just a little over a minute and now under a minute left in this first quarter. That is a big, big. Dimitri back in, Yuri Alpin as well. Great, two personal fouls in the first quarter. I should mention too, no Courtney Ogden. She's been getting some playing time. There's Yuri Alpin. She's just taking whatever the defense gives her, kind of giving a little shimmy shake. What do you got? I've got this one. Nails it. Double figures already. Yep. Leading all scorers. She's got 10 and four rebounds. A four second differential shot clock, game clock. And Alviedo with the play call. And leave her alone. She's all by herself. Shot clock down to two. White on the drive and sticks it. White looks up, sees that shot clock, and responds. For Utah, 5 of 11 from three. Do the math. They could <laughs> finish the game with over 40 three-point attempts. They have brought Cameron Brink back on to start the second quarter. She has two personal fouls already. But they are a different team without her, and she's right there for the steal. I like the move. Faith in your senior to stay on the floor. One takes it to Johnson, finger roll good. Defense creating an offensive opportunity. I also like as long as she's on the floor, get Cameron Brinker touches. Yep, get her the ball. That's right. Get out of the way. First points of the game for Brink, just her second field goal. Confidence of the bench right now for Utah coming in. Wilkie's been great as well as Lonnie White. We just saw her take it in. Vieta sticks it. Another three ball, and that's the sixth of the game for Utah. Yes, yeah, so much expected. Queen has not let LaPolo really let loose for drives or for threes. Yeah, LaPolo's been so quiet, and she's been more offensive mind that hit last weekend when they were at the Arizonas as Peely and Iriopin collide. Peely a little bit slow to get up. Limping coming down the floor. Oh, and another from here after an hour after things here Cal playing very well of course Colorado one of the best teams in the country and especially in Boulder easy I'm trying to draw the charge and does Jenna Johnson once again here I am just get set lower the shoulder Erie often unloads she's drawn now a couple of those First personal on Kiki Iriopin. And Vieta, defensively, it, it's hard to just keep track of where everyone's moving and, and what they're coming off of, and, and you need to locate and relocate defensively. Kiki, Kiki Iriopin, just, just keep feeding me. And she's saying, hey, WNBA coaches, take a look at me a little <laughs> bit while you're at it. Why not, the junior? She's really improved her game starting last season into this one. Hannah Jump just is not allowing Kennedy McQueen to get going offensively. Bucket inside, though. She's got five points. Nice dish. Emma Queen has only taken one shot there. She has not scored in this game. Ziri often gets the put back. Young using the left hand. Can't get it. But extra effort by Ross and the handoff to Johnson. And we're tied up once again. Ross with the rebound and the assist. <laughs> that one, Lapolo says yes. Exceptional three point defense. Utah trying to high low. Good help D by the Cardinal. Awesome with the help. Job. On the season, just 10 turnovers. Assist to turnover ratio 3.4. It's absolutely. Yeah, average 12 a game. Vieta off the iron. Can you bring the double to Peely. Others in the perimeter have got to knock down shots. Deja Young matched up to Peely. She tried to dump it down to Aguera. 
Knockout. A little too close. Replacing Cameron. Green takes a seat. Dimitri back in. Break. Two points. One of three from the floor. Two personal fouls. Just can't get it going yet. Dimitri right baseline fader. Good. The Cardinal on a 7-0 run. They made their last four field goals. That three is short. Ross tries to keep it alive. Instead on the end line. Your Stanford. Glad to have you know your head above water, and you've got this lead now without her out there. And there's another back cut by John. Number 33. Peely at Erie often helped D coming down to Mitri, and Peely gets another chance. Can't get it. Then Roberts wanted the whistle to blow, didn't get it. And there's a Kara with a, an aggressive play. Weak side board, extra chance for Erie often won't drop from Mary Murphy. When they're coming <laughs> towards you, it's usually just trouble. Yep. That's a good tip. <laughs> that is Alyssa Peely standing angles and just how strong her base is. Yeah. Some incredible strength. It's going to be chilly. Just a little over a minute left in the first half. Dimitri gets a block. They'll say, nope, there's a foul. Dimitri, about 20 minutes a game, six points, five rebounds, runs the floor, understands the system. And gets both free throws. Chloe Clardy's checked in, 13 in black. The freshman for Stanford. So Garris wanted that one out. It goes back to Utah. Peely weaving around and a blocking foul against the Cardinal. We talk about the need to score right a whole lot more offense. Gets the free throws. And they need the scores to score. They have had a drought as of late. Stanford clock winding down. Dimitri. Tries to cut in, but that will do it. Number eight, Stanford in town, and they are up by seven over number 19, Utah. Our two standouts. Uh, two All-Americans. That's right. And Alyssa Peely, both on the floor, and nobody with more than one personal on Utah's team, but really often and Brink, both with two personals apiece. Jenna Johnson, the start of this quarter, will be on brink brink with the turn a little contact no whistle and camera brink saying hey there was contact why not a whistle for me I think jenna johnson was feeling the same way <laughs> i think so she's already drawn two charges tonight Deja young getting the start again her eighth on the season Johnson gets past Brink on the baseline. Shot clock down to three. Johnson up top and sticks it. That was exactly what Utah needed. And used the shot clock to the very last second. Jenna Johnson, she's got double digits now. She's got 10 points. Yeah, McQueen averages 10 points per game, and she's only taken one shot. She's got 16. Vieta, Young Brink on the baseline, looking for help. Oh, Deja Young had that drive. Got a mismatch here. He had the mismatch, and finally Vieta steps back. Just got enough of a look away from Cameron Brink, who was out on her. I think Brink was ready for someone to shoot it. Brink at 6-4, Vieta at 5-6. And Brink facing up, high arc or pretty. Queen trying to lose the jump, and there's the double team over. Peely saw it, but the defense will take it. Just had a couple point blank looks at it. Very often, high to low. What an aggressive drive! That thing was over when Lapolo passed it. <laughs> Stanford with their largest lead of ten, but not for long. And then, senior from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Stepped into a starting role. Oh, Brink just doesn't baseline. stand in one place. I mean, she is active. Yep, she's incorporated the three ball as well. you got to be aware of that. As that shot just off for Dimitri. Peely helped D coming down. Johnson all by herself. Up top, sticks it. 
Good read by you two. Four point game. Just what Lynn Roberts talked about at halftime. Down by 10 moments ago. And a 6 0 run with nine made threes for the Utes. Great play by Wilkie. That's Utah basketball. Maddie Wilkie off the bench has been big. The transfer, sophomore. What a look. Oh, eyes in the back of her head. She looks down and sees all those feet surrounding her. She knows her teammates open. Utes on an 8 0 run. Agara tries to muscle it up, and instead a foul prior to the timeout. Nunu Agara, the 6'2 freshman out of Minnesota, gets the first. Great job at the free throw line, a positive assist to turnover ratio, and productive in her minutes. Only five misses from the line now on the season for Agara. Get away from the length of Brink to Kent. And she has been very active without the ball, as well as with the ball then trying to find her teammates. And there's one right there. Shot clock to four. Vieta swatted. Her second. And she doesn't get many fouls blocking shots. Oh, Wilkie with the shot clock. With recognition, Wilkie hits it. Five points for her off the bench. And a foul call on Dimitri. She thought she got fouled prior. Instead, it'll go the other way. Number 21 on Stanford, Brooke Dimitri. That's her third foul. Yeah, ball is still in her hands. Very often. Can review that yep. at the next stoppage. It will be. Wilkie drives it up. Got the angle. This Harry Oppen was staying with her. It's kind of like, are we playing horse? <laughs> that last foul on Dimitri was her third personal, so she's out. Harry will back on. Big minutes and play from her. Brink as Johnson tries to draw it. Doesn't get it. Harry Oppen. Effort. And a jump ball, it's going to stay with Stanford. End of last year, this year, the crowd is a difference maker here at the Huntsman. Yeah, they get into it as that baseline jumper won't go. Erie Oppen on the weak side, and she gets fouled in the process. Again, the importance of this game, Utah in conference play, one and two losses to at Colorado, at Arizona. Vieta. Down 10 to up one. Under a minute left in the third quarter, and this crowd making some noise, and it's a 7-0 Utah run. A beautiful play, the M1. Oh. And Hannah jump again. 12 points for jump. Vieta turns it in, tipped around into the hands of Peely all by herself. Nope, just off. Had a good look. Nobody came out to pick her up. Four second differential, shot clock, game clock. Lonnie White on, out guarding Harriel. Riaffin gets the shooter's touch on the baseline. Oh, Stanford just comes right back. Backdoor cut, Hannah jump. Nice play, Iriaffin. Bealy trying to dump it to the left side, and instead, that will be the end.
Back in Salt Lake City, Tara Vanderveer coming into this one. 1,200 career wins. Mayor, she's chasing Coach Krzyzewski with 1,202. Just incredible numbers. Yeah, this uh, this list, this graphic, Gino Oriema, he, he's still working, trying to overcome all those injuries this yeah. year. And the and, late great Pat Summit. She was really, she set the bar for everyone to kind of reach. She certainly did, and we miss you, Pat. We sure do. Here's... Closing in on history for Tara Vanderveer to become the all-time winningest coach. Just something to, to see that more wins than 355 of the 360 Division I programs. The winning percentage. And, and think about this. She took a year off. Right. A year off to yeah. coach the Olympic team. Yep. Tour the country, get the team ready, and go win Olympic gold in Atlanta. So add, add a couple more to that list yep. if she had stuck around. Definitely so. Fourth quarter yeah. underway. The queen is still scoreless. Just 10 points a game. And she's a 44% three-point shooter. She'll take it. Finally! It's McQueen time. They need her. The jump was right there. First point of the game in the fourth quarter. She's been red hot the last five games, averaging 13 points a game, McQueen has. Grant guarded by Johnson, fades away, sticks it. It has not been an easy evening, but she's still hanging with the two personals that she picked up in the first quarter. Feely trying to get some space, just misses. Brink coming into this one. Close to her 1,000th career as Erie often show. Uh, 11 of 22 shooting. Her seventh career double double. Six of her seven double doubles, Mary, have come now this season. She has really turned it on this year. Feely somehow. They lead the nation in assists per game and also three pointers made. Offensive foul, Dimitri. Just a little bit too harshly and picks up the fourth personal. Vieta. Johnson, about it. Great cover out by Iriaka. Yeah, she got right out at her. Oh, and Brink again, swatting it out of place. Hasn't worked on either side for Vieta. Brink has been there. Shot clock, winding down. Wilkie will take it this time. Gets it off in time. That was crowd assisted. Bench assisted. Yeah. Jump. Thought she got fouled instead. Air ball will be the champ. You don't see break. Excuse me. You don't see Hannah jump really very demonstrative. <laughs> no, you really don't. Stanford, almost four minutes. They've not scored. But you keep the lead. Wilkie turns, squares up, and rattles it in. What a game she's having. Three of six behind the arc, and Utah pulls within one. Vieta is guarding jump with her life. She's just, and she still couldn't get there. Very often tracks down the long rebound, and Brick makes him pay. Give the assist to Erie Offen. Just tremendous hustle to stay in the play. Gives her team three points with it. You're right. Kept it alive. Got the extra chance. You don't see Hannah Jump miss very many open threes as Vieta. You said it couldn't get out there, but very often kept it going. Peely looking for a foul. Won't get it. Very often running, and a bit of a late whistle on Utah. Brink's going to get a breather. Very often has been the coolest customer in the place, in the Huntsman Center. Even when she's hustling after that loose ball, it doesn't even look like she's, you know, breaking a sweat. One for two on that outing from the line for Erie Offen. 
What a game. 25 points, 16 boards, 4 assists. And Utah just keeps crawling out of the hole, almost getting out of it, and then they go right back in. Wilkie, Pezzi, Erie often swaps it out. Erie often says, I've been watching Cam, and that's how you do that. <laughs> yeah, she's very capable at 6'3 in her length. Good timing on that one. Two and a half left in the game as Johnson loses it. Yeah, that was not a good decision. Stephen happy to work a little clock. The polo just three points, but seven assists. Jump doesn't force the action. She's not saying, I haven't gotten mine. She just said, let's get a better one. Five on the shot clock. Green squares up. She's short. Utah needs points. Just under two minutes left in the game. Aguera back on for the Cardinal. They need a McQueen three. They need a Wilkie three. They need Peely to come alive. Double team down on Peely, and this one's going to go against, I think, Iriopin. So Iriopin stays on. Dimitri comes on to replace Aguera. First free throw good for Peely with 13 points. Been a quiet night, just four of 16. Defensively, Stanford's done an outstanding job on it. McQueen on the polo. Carver one for the last seven shots. Wilkie, help D with a takeaway. Squares up, around and out, Johnson, it's tipped to her. And she'll bring it out for the reset. Jenny Johnson saving the day, timeout Utah. Aguera and all her size is on Vieta. Foul on the Cardinal. Just the third team foul. Utes one timeout left. Three for Stanford. Aguera stayed with her. She muscles it up and gets it to drop. Such body control by Alyssa Peely, and it's a one-point Stanford game. We're under a minute. Utah with a 22-game home winning streak. And trying to keep it going. And Tara Vanderveer calls a timeout and to get in 1201. Shot clock. It's shot clock. Down to two. Very often. Did she get the shot off? They'll say she did. Another chance on the weak side of Guerra. Lynn Roberts is on the sideline saying that was a shot clock violation. Let's take a look. Ball in her hands. Yeah. You can see the red. You can see the zero. And Lynn Roberts is livid. And she's right. So Utah will have to foul. They don't get the steal. Inbound the brink. And then finally, oh, a jump ball. The call. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events. Now Tara, hand on hips. And... <laughs> McQueen was there, didn't go for it. And Johnson, wow. Well, the basketball gods have evened things up. <laughs> Here we go. Healy with the handoff. Takes it off, and another jump ball. Here we often back at you. And the rip away, they call the jump, no foul called. And clearly, it looks like Peely got fouled. And this is in Salt Lake City. Yeah, that's right. 
the only matchup Four or five of the second season. call. Fairly quick whistle. And Bamba Polo and another foul, this one on McQueen. And down to 2.6 on the clock. Apollo to the line. She's a 60% free throw. It's the first. Misses the second, long rebound, and a timeout. So Utah can bring it up. Very often, right in front of her. What a game she's had. And knocks it out of play. And they've got to take a look and reset the clock. Everyone's standing in Salt Lake City. <laughs> Aguera now on the inbound. Young, no time to hesitate as Peely barely got a shot. And Brink was right there on her. 